Welcome back, it's your boy Bullers Big X here again with another vlog, and I am so sorry I didn't get a vlog out the day of the tournament because, well, 160 people on 32 lanes, we didn't get out till I think it was 10 o'clock at night, roughly, 10, 11 at night, central time. So, um, yeah, to give you a little update of that, me, Sean, Tyler, were three guys from Whitewater that bowled there that I know of. I think there may have been one more, I don't remember. Um, it was on Red Square, really hard pattern. Uh, with 10 people per pair too, that kind of makes it even more difficult. Uh, it ended up being like, cut was like minus 150 for 6. I was like minus 87, I didn't bowl the best. Um, and I won my first match, lost my second match. Sean ended up getting second, I ended up getting fifth, and Tyler ended up getting seventh, I want to say. Um, Tyler's a really cool dude too. Uh, Tyler's a junior now. And actually, he's helped me a lot with my uh, my getting left game, which I needed a lot of at that tournament. Which, um, <laughs> you know, six games with ten people per pair plus, plus four games of match play. It was just brutal, man. I ripped a switch grip out of a ball. First time I've ever done that. I've lost them before, but never in my life have I thrown a shot and realized the switch grip was still in my thumb and I literally ripped it out of the ball. kind of happen sometimes I guess but no that's behind us this week what was this week this week was tryouts first four days done we bowled on two days of a, one college round then two more days of another college pattern um and you know we're supposed to have squad one which is fresh and the squad two which is burn I had three burn squads versus one or versus two because of the fact that my classes and all that but um yeah I've been super busy with classes so my videos kind of been not able to, but I just want to get this video up because I have a little free time right now before I bowl the uh, brackets. Uh, for the first day, I went minus 69 for four. Um, I didn't bowl that good. I was kind of lost in it. But the second day, I made up for it. I went plus 62 for four, so I put me at minus seven. Then we changed patterns, and I got on the burn first for the the second pattern, and it was it was it was a challenge. I went minus 30 there, and I ended up going. Uh, so I'm minus 37, then I went minus 40 the next day on it, so I'm at like minus 77. But tryouts wasn't just based around shooting numbers. It was about single pin conversion, multi pin conversion, uh, fill percentage, strike percentage, and average. So those five aspects, you know, determine where you were in the bracket, which is today. Um, so I'll probably do a video tomorrow if I have time. I should have time tomorrow because tomorrow is Friday. I only have one class on Fridays and it's in the morning, so I should have time to do a video Friday. Um, but What's been going on with me? College life, right? This is my uh, jail cell of a prison dorm, right? It's kind of small. Uh, it's kind of messy right now, and uh, I really wish I should clean it up, but I've been too busy kind of focusing on everything else. Um, really, I, I kind of wanted to get this video out, say, hey, everything's all right. I'm going to be uploading videos as much as possible. I'm hoping to do some videos while we're traveling, too, with the team, if I, if I get on the travel part of it. Um, I'll try to do videos at practices and everything and kind of thing. But what I wanted to talk about today is two things. First off, what am I drilling up this season? Because a lot of people like knowing what I'm drilling up. Uh, it, I've got a new bunch of new balls coming in eventually. I'm going to be drilling up probably a Ruthless, Game Breaker 3, Black and Blue, Game Breaker 3, um, a Choice Solid, a Spare Ball, because we have to have a Spare Ball, which is okay. I get that. It's no big deal. Um, that's five. Then uh, I was probably going to drill up a Heat Lava, a track. And then probably a few things here and there. If I like something more, I'll drill up another one of it. Maybe a Destiny Solid, another one. Uh, I have one with me. But um, really, the, the main thing about this is I wanted to talk about greatness. Right? Uh, th this is something that a lot of people kind of like skim over when they're, they're giving like these motivational speeches or they're not, they're trying to protrude a certain image and that's one thing I really want to talk about is being great. What is being great? Being great is so much more than just doing well at one thing. It's it's not just how you do, it's how you do behind scenes and behind the closed doors. There's a lot of people out there, any sport, who are fantastic at one thing, but behind the closed doors, behind the press, and behind the cameras, they're just, they, they, they don't exceed to a level of which they could be. They're not at the highest standard they want to be at. And for me, I wanted to talk about being great because being great 
is something that a lot of us, uh, we want to expire for. We want to be great, yet we don't have the means or the motivation to find greatness. And I, I'll tell you a little bit about my story. I didn't start bowling until I was 14 years old nearly. I'm 18 now. 14 years old, I used to practice nearly every single day. Because I played basketball in high school. I played football for seven seasons when I was younger. I, I did everything. And yet, none of them, they, they, none of them had that, that factor for me that really caught on to me. So I picked bowling. Bowling became something I got really, really mesmerized by because of the fact that I was able to rely solely, not on myself, but rely on being able to compete with others despite my look, despite my physical capabilities, despite my, you know, just anything. And that's what makes bowling such a great sport is that there there is so much more to it than just being the biggest or being the strongest or being the fastest. It, it's all up here. Now, I did struggle a lot with mental game. By the time I was 16 years old, I was averaging 200, uh, roughly. I, I don't remember exactly when I had my first 200 series uh, average for a league. But um, when I was 16, I was averaging 200. But that's because a lot of people don't realize that I put in an extreme amount of work because I wanted to be greatness at its finest now there there is people who say i am very cocky i get that a lot and you know what i am and i've been trying to humble myself more and more and that's one of the reasons why i wanted to go to such a high prestige or prestige um university for bowling is because of the fact i knew it'd be a humbling experience there's guys on this team way better than me there's freshmen out there way better than me but i i really wanted to get the aspect of being great because if I if I went to a smaller school that didn't have if I became the star as a freshman yeah that would have been cool but where am I learning from that you got to surround yourself not only with greatness but also the utility and the tools to become great um there there's a lot of people out there who become they'll go to a small school who are fantastic bowlers and they'll dominate there and they'll become the star as a freshman but where do you see them ending up? Because they have no higher level to shoot for. Yeah, you can you know tell your team everything this. You can bring in a good recruiting class and all that. But if you're the top dog all four years, you never had you worked for it obviously, but you never had to really achieve anything because you were already the best as a young person. I wanted to come to a place where I had to beat the best to become the best. I had to work harder than anybody. And that's one thing I will say about being great. Being great requires one thing, and that is work ethic. Work ethic. Day in, day out. Working hard. Practicing. Not just throwing games or not just doing things. Practicing. Working on the fundamentals. It requires a stable mentality. Being able to keep cool in the frustrating times. Like, this past week, I've had some really bad games and they frustrated me but I've tried to keep my cool and reserve myself because I know as soon as I have that little slip up that's where I lose that greatness I will not let any little bit of greatness escape me if I can because if you let that moment pass you may never get that moment again you got to try and strive to be great and I really want to push that out I want to get some shirts that are be great just be great right across the chest and I want to really push that and if you guys are interested in, leave some comments down below hit that like button leave some comments if you want me to get some like merch saying be great and then I'll do the designs and I'll order and I'll make it cheap because I'm cheap too and I understand that we're college students but I really want to push this idea of being great being powerful and outworking those above you I'm not saying that in a cocky way and I'm just saying if you truly want to be great you must outwork every single soul there is not only are you putting in the physical work you gotta you gotta really watch it you got to observe see what the older guys are doing who are better watch what they're doing to become that way they are younger and then focus look at the professionals look how they break down things look how they analyze things and become that way to be great yes there's a lot of physical that comes into play you have to be able to rep uh, repeat shots you have to be able to be uh, sound physically but if you can take what the older the more experienced bowlers or any sport for that matter 
you take what they know and bring it to your own life, you will be great. And I just want to push this message because today I'm going to go be great. Tomorrow I'm going to go and be great. Every day I'm going to be great. I'm going to try my best to be great, whether it be in the schoolroom, whether it be in bowling, whether it be, you know, walking around. I will be great. I don't want this to sound cocky. I want this to be confidence. There is no cockiness I want to just to, you know, our coach hates cockiness because he thinks it's terrible, and it is. Being over cocky is terrible, but there is a fine line between having confidence in yourself, having confidence in your building, and then being cocky. That fine line right here, that's what separates greatness from those who just talk, talk, talk. Now, I may trash talk here and there, and that's for fun. The people I like trash talk, it's just joking around, having a good time, because that builds, you know, a relationship with others. I'm not saying it in any means, and I, if I do say something I didn't mean to say or it comes across wrong, I will apologize for it. But I just want you guys to get in the mindset of being great every day. Because if you strive for greatness, you will one day be great. And if you put that work in, you will be great. So I want to leave this off here with just a little food for thought. Are you being great today? Are you being great tomorrow? Will you be great in the future or will you just let that opportunity slip up at the wrong time? Thank you guys for watching. Think about that. Like, subscribe. And um, I'll let you know how the bracket goes probably tomorrow. So I'm going to end this, like always, with two words this time. Instead of just salute, it's going to be be great and salute.